Amazon River, the greatest river of South America and the largest drainage system in the world in terms of the volume of its flow and the area of its basin. The total length of the river as measured from the headwaters of the Ucayali-Apuramac River system in southern Peru is at least 4,000 miles, 6,400 kilometers, which makes it slightly shorter than the Nile River but still the equivalent of the distance from New York City to Rome. Its westernmost source is high in the Andes Mountains, within 100 miles, 160 kilometers, of the Pacific Ocean, and its mouth is in the Atlantic Ocean, on the northeastern coast of Brazil. However, both the length of the Amazon and its ultimate source have been subjects of debate since the mid-20th century, and there are those who claim that the Amazon is actually longer than the Nile. The vast Amazon basin, Amazonia, the largest lowland in Latin America, has an area of about 2.7 million square miles, 7 million square km, and is nearly twice as large as that of the Congo River, the Earth's other great equatorial drainage system. Stretching some 1,725 miles, 2,780 kilometers, from north to south at its widest point, the basin includes the greater part of Brazil and Peru, significant parts of Colombia, Ecuador, and Bolivia, and a small area of Venezuela, roughly two-thirds of the Amazon's mainstream and by far the largest portion of its basin are within Brazil. The Tocantins Araguaia catchment area in Para State covers another 300,000 square miles, 777,000 square km. Although considered a part of Amazonia by the Brazilian government and in popular usage, it is technically a separate system. It is estimated that about one-fifth of all the water that runs off Earth's surface is carried by the Amazon. The flood stage discharge at the river's mouth is four times that of the Congo and more than ten times the amount carried by the Mississippi River. This immense volume of fresh water dilutes the ocean's saltiness for more than 100 miles, 160 kilometers, from shore. The extensive lowland areas bordering the main river and its tributaries, called Varzias, floodplains, are subject to annual flooding, with consequent soil enrichment, however, most of the vast basin consists of upland, well above the inundations and known as terra firme. More than two-thirds of the basin is covered by an immense rainforest, which grades into dry forest and savanna on the higher northern and southern margins and into montane forest in the Andes to the west. The Amazon rainforest, which represents about half of the Earth's remaining rainforest, also constitutes its single largest reserve of biological resources. Since the later decades of the 20th century, the Amazon basin has attracted international attention because human activities have increasingly threatened the equilibrium of the forest's highly complex ecology. Deforestation has accelerated, especially south of the Amazon River and on the Piedmont outwash of the Andes, as new highways and air transport facilities have opened the basin to a tidal wave of settlers, corporations, and researchers. Significant mineral discoveries have brought further influxes of population. The Amazon River in South America is the largest river by discharge volume of water in the world, and the disputed longest river system in the world in comparison to the Nile. The headwaters of the Apuramac River on Nevado Misme had been considered for nearly a century the Amazon Basin's most distant source until a 2014 study found it to be the headwaters of the Mantaro River on the Cordillera Rumi Cruz in Peru. The Mantaro and Apuramac Rivers join, and with other tributaries form the Ucayali River, which in turn meets the Marañón River upstream of Iquitos, Peru, forming what countries other than Brazil consider to be the main stem of the Amazon. Brazilians call this section the Salomos River above its confluence with the Rio Negro forming what Brazilians call the Amazon at the meeting of waters at Manaus, the largest city on the river. The Amazon River has an average discharge of about 215,000 to 230,000 M3-S, 7,600,000 to 8,100,000 cu foot s approximately 6,591 to 7,570 cubic kilometers, 1,581 to 1,816 cu mi, per year, greater than the next seven largest independent rivers combined. Two of the top ten rivers by discharge are tributaries of the Amazon River. 
the Amazon represents 20% of the global river Rhine discharge into oceans. The Amazon Basin is the largest drainage basin in the world, with an area of approximately 7 million square kilometers 2,700,000 square miles. The portion of the river's drainage basin in Brazil alone is larger than any other river's basin. The Amazon enters Brazil with only one-fifth of the flow it finally discharges into the Atlantic Ocean, yet already has a greater flow at this point than the discharge of any other river. The Amazon was initially known by Europeans as the Maranhão, and the Peruvian part of the river is still known by that name today. It later became known as Rio Amazonas in Spanish and Portuguese. Balem is the major city and port at the mouth of the river at the Atlantic Ocean. The definition of where exactly the mouth of the Amazon is located, and how wide it is, is a matter of dispute, because of the area's peculiar geography. There are no bridges across the entire width of the river. This is not because the river would be too wide to bridge, for most of its length, engineers could build a bridge across the river easily. For most of its course, the river flows through the Amazon rainforest, where there are very few roads and cities. Most of the time, the crossing can be done by a ferry. The Manaus Iranduba bridge linking the cities of Manaus and Iranduba spans the Rio Negro, the second largest tributary of the Amazon, just before their confluence. The Amazon River and its tributaries are characterized by extensive forested areas that become flooded every rainy season. Every year, the river rises more than 9 meters 30 feet, flooding the surrounding forests, known as Varzia, flooded forests. The Amazon's flooded forests are the most extensive example of this habitat type in the world. In an average dry season, 110,000 square kilometers 42,000 square miles of land are water covered, while in the wet season, the flooded area of the Amazon basin rises to 350,000 square kilometers 140,000 square miles. The Amazon and its tributaries are the main habitat of the giant otter, Terranura brasiliensis. Sometimes known as the river wolf, it is one of South America's top carnivores. Because of habitat destruction and hunting, its population has dramatically decreased. The anaconda is found in shallow waters in the Amazon basin. One of the world's largest species of snake, the anaconda spends most of its time in the water with just its nostrils above the surface. Species of caimans, that are related to alligators and other crocodilians, also inhabit the Amazon as do varieties of turtles. The Amazon River, serve as a vital lifeline for more than 47 million people in its basin, faces a multitude of challenges that threaten both its ecosystem and the indigenous communities dependent on its resources. The Amazon River is unparalleled to any other river on Earth. Its massive volumes of water feed the adjacent Amazon rainforest, make it impossible to build bridges over, and even raise the height of the ocean in the Caribbean Sea. In addition to the Amazon River's role as a global freshwater powerhouse, its geologic past, unique wildlife, and impact on human history make this river one of the most fascinating places on Earth. The Amazon River once flowed in the opposite direction, between 65 and 145 million years ago, the Amazon River flowed towards the Pacific Ocean, in the opposite direction it flows today. Where the Amazon River's mouth sits today, there was once a highland that allowed for this westerly flow. The rise of the Andes Mountains in the west forced the Amazon River to reverse course. It's the largest river in the world by volume, the Amazon River has the largest volume of fresh water of any river in the world. The river releases around 200,000 liters of fresh water into the ocean every second. Together, this fresh water flow accounts for nearly 20% of all river water that enters the sea. At about 4,000 miles long, the Amazon River is the second longest river in the world. The Amazon's impressive length is exceeded by the 4,132-mile Long Nile River. Behind the Amazon, the next longest river is the Yangtze River, which is only about 85 miles shorter than the Amazon. The Amazon River releases so much fresh water into the Atlantic Ocean, it alters sea level in the Caribbean. As fresh water leaves the mouth of the Amazon, it gets picked up by the Caribbean current, 
which carries the water to the Caribbean islands. On average, models predict the Amazon River alone causes sea levels around the Caribbean to be around 3 cm higher than they would be without the Amazon's freshwater contributions. The Amazon River's Andean headwaters have 142 dams, with an additional 160 dams proposed for construction. The dams provide electricity in the form of hydropower but hurt the ecology of the Amazon River system. Fishermen in Brazil's portion of the Amazon River, the Madeira River, already report negative effects on the system's fish, which scientists attribute to the installation of hydroelectric dams. All 10 million people who live on the banks of the Amazon River can only cross the freshwater flow by boat. Point 10 The lack of bridges is due, in part, to the seasonal changes in the Amazon River bed. During the rainy season, the Amazon River can rise over 30 feet, tripling the width of the river in some places. The Amazon soft river banks erode as with the seasonal inundation of rainwater, making previously sturdy areas into unstable floodplains. Any bridge to cross the Amazon River would need to be incredibly long to have sure footing. There are also few roads connecting to the Amazon River, with the Amazon River itself used for most people's transportation needs. The Amazon River passes through Brazil, Colombia, Peru, and Venezuela, with Brazil holding by far the largest portion of the river. The Amazon River's watershed, or the areas where it receives fresh water from, includes even more countries. Rainfall in Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela also supplies the Amazon River with much of its fresh water. The Amazon River's height rises substantially in the rainy season because around 40% of all of South America's water ends up in the river. Point 13 Like a wide net, the Amazon River watershed collects rainfall from miles around the Amazon River, including the Andes Mountains and the Amazon Rainforest. Thank you fans for watching this video.